turn me up, turn me up, turn me up, turn me up. Give me on two, on two, on two. Nothing even matters. You'd want these. Welcome back. This is Jadani Says. Music is very intimate to us. It's a major part of our lives. We get zoned in and we lose track of time and place. But it doesn't hurt to look good while we're listening to our music. You want something that captures your sense of character, style, finesse, no matter where you are. Whether you're in the gym pretending to be working out but you're really staying at the hot women on a treadmill, or on your way to work on that bus ride or sitting on a train, you want to know that you are rocking some of the hottest devices to present to you that music. That's why today I have arguably the most beautiful headphones in the world. These are the Bowers & Wilkins PX noise canceling headphones. Look at that. If, if this doesn't do it, I, I don't know what is. Show me a, a, a more cooler, more stylish headphone than these. I had to bring this up on this channel. Let's start with design. So I love the look of these Bowers & Wilkins headphones. Headphones to me are some of the most accessorized electronics you can add to your style. These Bowers & Wilkins ones would especially do the trick. From this navy nylon coating, let me show you, make sure you see this. Throughout the entirety of these headphones, the color combinations is perfect. This brushed bronze gold with this cable strip for headphone adjustment that they used here. I don't know if I prefer this over the click style lever adjustments. For example, my, uh, let me bring these over here. These are my Sony MDRs and you know, they have this adjustment click system, whereas the Bowers and Wilkins opted for the this cable lever. So I don't know if this can ever get loose, but I, I love the design and it follows all the way through into the back piece of this headphone, creating this nice loop. It's just, it's a stylish, very sleek headphone. It, it's really nice. You have your, your head and support this is actually real leather. And they followed that real leather with the cuff foams. This is real leather. It's not like those poly vinyl that you see in a lot of these headphones. And I'm not a fan of those. And I'll show you why. With my Sony MDRs, this is what you get when you go with poly vinyl. That. Leather lasts much longer. It, not as comfortable because they could really pick up a lot of sweat, but they do a much better job than these, especially with longevity. This is, this is what you get. Now these are some pretty good headphones, but after maybe about four years, that wear and tear suddenly started kicking in, so. But you don't get that with these. Biles and Wilkins made sure that they went the premium route and gave you some nice leather cups. Fill that. They feel really good. But that would definitely ensure you that these last a lot longer in, uh, than other headphones that use more cheaper materials. Great accent colors, nice quality build. When I first got these, I thought they were a little narrow. Just compared to other headphones, if you compare them to my Sony MDRs, you can see that the cups are a little bit more wider. Mm, let's run a break thing. Look at that. But, but once you put them on though, you notice that the cups fit perfectly on the ear. So it doesn't even matter because these cups were designed to fit. Am I, am I, la 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 la. So these fit really well. They fit a little snug at first when I put them on, but you really have to break into them. Excellent feel. Excellent grip, very comfortable. You can wear these a lot longer for like six, seven hours. This, this, is, uh, this is the ultimate fit here. These fit a lot better than my old Sony's. So that's an A in that category in terms of design and build. So let's talk about the buttons that are on this headphones. You have your volume up button, your meter control play and pause button in the middle, volume down. This is your Bluetooth connectivity button 
and then your button to power it off and on. Your indication light, uh, your headphone jack, and then you have your charging port. Now let's jump into some of the features. I'm not gonna get into the deep specifications like the 40 millimeter driver that powers these headphones. I'm pretty much gonna talk about the highlight overall features that you'd be more interested in. These are Bluetooth, of course. The thing I love about these headphones is how easy they are to pair your Bluetooth with your mobile device. So literally all you do, now the headphones comes out of the box automatically going into BT mode. So once you turn it on, you hit this button here to switch it on. The headphone comes on, it flashes this green light, then it automatically flashes a blue light and goes into the connectivity mode. You can then go into your phone, add a new device, and then pair it up. If you're already connected, you can then hit this Bluetooth button here, and then that it activate the Bluetooth system that you can just go into your device and add a system that way. So I'm excited that this is the most seamless connectivity setup of any other Bluetooth device I've ever owned. I love how seamless that is and how easy that is. Something else I love about this is these come with built-in sensors. What are my top feature in any headphones? So you put them on, you're listening to music. You take them off and then they stop or they pause. That's what you call hands-free. You don't have to worry about fumbling with the buttons on the side or putting out your phone on stopping it. The moment you put them back on, and you take them off and they pause. Comes in very handy. Battery time, so 22 hours of active use on one charge. It's that, that, that'll definitely get you on that long ride going home and a lot in, in your workouts. Another thing that stands out about this headphones is they, it comes with a mobile app to allow you to adjust settings. It doesn't really do a lot in terms of making any acoustic setups or any listening type of adjustment to sound quality or anything like that. It's more so adjusting features like do you want to to be able to turn off those sensors and other settings that come with this headphone. But it's nice that they, they, they added one. But here's the things I don't like about these headphones. Not a lot to dislike, but one would be the limitations of beta controls. Outside of these volume buttons and the play and pause button, there is no control for reversing tracks or skipping forward to a track, which I've become accustomed to, especially with my old Sony headphones you can jump tracks forward and back. And that always came in very handy because once again, once you're hand free, you like to be hands free. No point of pulling out your cell phone and fumbling through the advanced controls. So the lack of media controls on these headphones are definitely a bummer because I, I was definitely looking forward to adjusting and skipping forward and going back a track or even just fast forward and rewind them with these headphones and you don't you don't really get that with these. The, the, the other thing I really don't like, which is more of a, a major con is, going back to that Bluetooth that I talked about, there was that connectivity that was this really seamless. Once you connect these, if you disconnect or if you remove your pair of device from connection relationship, trying to get it connected back is really an issue. I don't know if this is a bug. It's weird because if you try to make that connection again, you start having some connection issues where these Biles and Wilkins headphones don't quite recognize the device that you're trying to connect to, and then it'll keep giving you these errors. So I don't know what that is about. It's really inconsistent. It's really a hit and miss. So sometimes it may go through and finally connect after ultimately trying over and over again, and sometimes you just get no luck. So I, I, I don't know what that's about. Maybe this is one of those defective units. Let's talk about the sound quality. It's very difficult to find headphones that can give you that gut punch that you feel in your soul and your heart. Like the R&Bs and hip hops and some even rock songs without them cluttering and mudding the mid and the higher tones. A lot of headphones really miss that mark. It's really the good headphones that can balance giving you that thump and then without muddying everything up. Like these, 
these Sony MDRs that I that I have there, they're heavy on, on bass. They even have a, a bass boost button that you would hit and it would just give you that pump, that low frequency pump. But the problem with these is once you start hearing those high tier tones or, or the mid frequencies, it's just the bass just overtakes everything and it just muddies everything as it just sounds like a bunch of blur. That was the really one of the major criticisms I have of, of these headphones. But with these, they do everything above those low frequencies really well. Everything is crystal clear. It's natural. That's how I would describe the sound identity of these headphones. But for the lower tones, so the bass, it's probably lacking in these headphones. So if you're a bass head, if you're one of those people, you like those, the heavy bass that hits you in your heart, that you can feel the pounding, you won't get them in these. But if you're one of those people, you like natural, warmer sounds, crystal clear sounds, then these are probably as accurate as they can get. If you're looking for something that balances between beauty, style, and sound, these are it. These are definitely it. All right, so let's talk about what comes in the box. This is your beautiful Bowers and Wilkins box. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of boxes, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm a big fan of boxes. Maybe it's a presentation thing. I'm a visualist, so maybe, maybe that's it. I mean, I'm just gonna pretend like, you know, I'm talking about stuff because I can't get this box open. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I don't want to say it on camera that I can't get a box open. I'm embarrassed, you know? Here's the box. Look at that. Oof. You feel, this is a nice foam cushion. I'm just, it's, I'm a little details guy. So this is what the box looks like. Here's your manual that's uh, fired off in the back here. We gonna leave that alone. So yeah, you might wanna keep this around just for packing purposes. But if you didn't have the box, this, this is really designed for packing purposes. You get a Bowers and Wilkins nice matted, well foamed case. Yeah, look at that. You get your refresher. Refresher, I always say that. Your charging cable to be able to charge up your headphones, and then you get your 3.5 millimeter audio cord. There you go. And the way these go is, I like that they have molded this case so that you can always pack it away nicely. Sits in air, look at that. Close it up. And you're good to go. So this is the Biles and Wilkins PX headphones. If you decide to get this one, let me know what you think. Take some pictures, whatever. And be sure to check out these videos. These ones here. Maybe, you know, you see something that you like. Check it out. Let me know what you think. That's been it for this one. See you guys on the next one.